Hey guys, welcome to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. And uh, this is our journey from Illinois to Oregon as we make our way to the Pacific Northwest. We just finished up here at Pickneyville, Illinois where, uh, where we just won an amateur championship. So if you missed that, that should be the last video. Go check that out. But, uh, but we did pretty well. So uh, we're all packed up heading west we have an extra horse on board that we're taking to Colorado but other than that we're gonna drop our horses off in, in Kansas and uh, where we board them and we're gonna try to do this trip without horses it'll just make our lives so much easier so um, we're heading to Manhattan and um, I'm gonna get these horses dropped We just finished up at our boarding facility in Kansas. We went from full-blown late spring in Illinois to uh, early spring in Manhattan. And uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty cold there. Um, so last week we were dealing with like 87 and today we were dealing with like low, high 30s at night and like 50 during the day so it's kind of a cold day um we're back on the road again and we're heading to colorado where we're gonna lay over for a week and see some family and unfortunately they just got six inches of snow we're going from spring back to winter um hopefully when we get there everything's melted and uh we ended up having to get a campground because place we normally stay is probably too muddy. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm ready to dollar sign if you want to move over there. Okay, I'll, I'll try. Just truck and trailer, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, anything else, Rainix? Um, no, just pretty basic. Just pretty basic. Use brush everywhere. Uh, do you do acid? We can do that if you want to. Uh, could you do it just on the lower part of the trailer here? Okay. That aluminum the part. Aluminum. Okay, we can do that. Just that, and that's it. And uh, no brushes on this blue paint. Oh, uh, okay. But you can brush everything else. Sure, we can. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right.
first day we had to stay at an RV park because of uh, where we usually stay was too muddy and then it dried out and we've changed locations, went over to my wife's grandparents and stayed there for a while. And I worked all week and now uh, it's Friday, we're hitting the road and we're kind of taking the back way out of Colorado and it was pretty, uh, pretty country but uh, quite the hill climbs with uh, the truck and trailer. But um, we uh, powered through that. We're making it out on smoother highways now. So uh, we're really close to where we boondocked last September. Um, if you guys missed that, it is an awesome place. Not too far from where we're driving right now. And I'll leave a, a tag right here in the corner of the screen if you guys want to go check that out. Tonight we're heading to... Uh, probably Rock Springs, Wyoming, unless we feel like we can drive a little bit further than that. Um, if we drive a little bit further, it'll be another hour or so. And we're going to stay the night at a Walmart parking lot and pack up on some groceries and, and get ready for our trip. Uh, we will be dealing with some uh, cold weather and maybe even some snow. Uh, but everything's been so warm lately it should just melt off pretty quickly in the morning we're also going to be dealing with some really high winds so hopefully uh that doesn't become an issue but we have about you know with the trailer in tow we got about 20 more hours of driving so we're probably at about our halfway point right now from where we started in illinois so make our way to oregon let's go Welcome to Wyoming. We just hit our fifth state so far. Illinois, Missouri, Kansas. And we just made it through Colorado and crossed into Wyoming. Uh, there's a lot of storms up in the mountains that are built and coming down and we're luckily we're avoiding all of them. So hopefully uh, we make it to Rock Springs. Rock Springs with no storms. Climbing so high that you got some snow. Hey guys, we stayed at Walmart last night and as we expected, you know, it's kind of loud there, which we went there knowing that and of course you had the guy at 4 a.m. playing his heavy duty bass system, so that was awesome, woke us up nice and early and uh, we hit the road and we have a longer drive today, it's probably about 10 or 11 hours and we're trying to get to Oregon, the middle of Oregon, bend to Oregon. So um, we ran into Walmart last night, got some groceries, and we're all loaded up, ready to go. So uh, we do have some weather. 
weather coming up, but I don't think it's going to snow on us. It's just kind of been raining on and off. Guys, we made it to uh, Burns, Oregon. Uh, we're all set up and uh, pretty empty fairgrounds parking lot right here. But uh, 
Uh, there's one other person here, but we pretty much have it to ourselves. Uh, we got the dogs set up on this chain right here, letting them stretch out a little bit. And if you're wondering, yes, we do clean up after them. So don't even have to leave that comment because we, we clean up after them. Um, I'm in the middle of building a solar system and we'll be using that in Oregon, but it'll go on the roof. Um, still making some modifications to it. And uh, that's the generator right there. So um, that's what we'll be living off of and boondocking with here and here starting tomorrow for the next few weeks. We just completely filled our water tank, which I think is roughly around 65 gallons. And I just filled that blue barrel up there with 60 gallons, I believe. So we got around 120, 125 gallons of water we're gonna be taking with us to the field trial in Madras, Oregon, which is about, I think it's two or three hour drive tomorrow for us. So we'll wake up early and go get there and get parked and get set up. Crossed into Oregon today, as you guys saw, that makes state number seven on this drive. Uh, <clears throat> we started in Illinois, kind of looked it up. It was around probably 2,100 miles from where we started, our, including our little detour. So about 2,100 miles. Uh, quite the road trip. This is probably the biggest road trip I've ever taken before. And uh, earlier in the video, I mentioned that uh, I mentioned about our boondocking spot up in the mountains of Colorado earlier. Beyond that, I've never driven any of these roads, so this is all a new sight for me. Uh, and uh, it's been a pretty cool experience. I always like. Uh, seeing new roads and seeing new country so it's pretty crazy utah was probably my favorite it had like a a new zealand vibe to it it was pretty cool but anyways uh we got everything set up we're gonna go cook some dinner Okay guys, we made it to our final destination of Madras, Oregon. And the reason we're here at Madras, Oregon is because we're going to be competing in the Northwest Pointy Dog Association Regional Championship. And also we'll be competing in the AKC National Gun Dog Championships. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. Make sure to hit the notification bell and like this video if you enjoyed this content. As always, get outdoors and keep trucking. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.